Hey, if you're ready to see how the 251 progression can explode your playing as a gospel musician, then this video is for you. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy KV Banks with Kingdom Keys Nation. I am so pumped right now to talk about this lesson because today we're going to uncover the power of the 251 progression and how you can use it anywhere and anytime you're going to a major chord. So let's get into it. So first things first, let's look at what a 251 progression really is. So if I'm in the key of C, okay? So the two would be a D, so I would play a minor chord over the two, so a D minor. The five would be a G, so I'll play a G major chord. And then the one would be a C major, okay? So two, five, one. Now, what I wanna do for this, I want to expand these chords, or extend them, rather. So to extend a chord, it means I'm gonna add new notes that follow the scale. So for this D minor chord, instead of just playing just the triad by itself, I want to play a D minor seven, okay? All right, so the D minor seven, would, I will add the C on the top. The easiest way of looking at this, or I'll give you a few ways of looking at this, how to form a minor seven chord, because that's gonna be very important, is that I'm gonna say, what's the root note? The root note is a D, okay? A half step lower from the root note would be the C. So if I was to add the C, I can either have it here or up top, whichever one. All right, but adding that C would give me that minor seven, okay? So I'm just gonna go a whole step lower than the root note, all right? Same thing for the G. Instead of playing a G major chord, I'm gonna make this a dominant chord. Now, a dominant chord has a stronger leading pull, a stronger tone when you're leading somewhere else, okay? So this sets you up a lot stronger for that C major chord that you're going to. So instead of playing that major chord, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play a dominant chord. And what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take that G down a whole step. So it's gonna be played like this. This, it sounds like it needs to be resolved somewhere else, all right? That dominant chord is setting you up like an alley-oop for that C major. So got that D minor seven, G7, then to a C major. Now, we just got a regular C major. We can do the same thing. We can make this a C major seven as well. So uh, we're gonna do the same thing, go to the root note, but instead of going down a whole step, cause that will actually give us a dominant chord, right? That would be a C7. Instead of doing that, I'm gonna go down just a half step. And so there's my C major seven, okay? So you got a C minor seven, G7, and then C major seven. What if I was to add the nine? So now we got a, a D minor nine. Ooh, that's a nice one, all right? So now we got a, a 13 there because I have this A in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So remember all of these numbers are just talking about scale degrees. That's the nine. When I put that A in there, I got it, I'm playing it with my thumb. So when I did that, it became a C major 9, 13. Okay? So there are so many different ways of playing uh, extended chords. So I could do that. D minor 9. And here's actually one of my favorites, favorite dominant chords, because there are different type of dominant chords as well. So we did the G7. You, of course, you do a G9. You can do the same thing, G9, 13. So you do. Right? Sounds pretty nice. Oh, sorry. Something like that. So many different ways. My favorite dominant chord, uh, when I'm doing a 2 5 1, is a, what's called a 7 flat 9 chord. Okay, so from this G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the A is the nine. So we got, it. here's our G, seven. Here's the nine, because that's an A. But we set a flat nine, so we're gonna take that nine, 
down a half step. Remember, flat just means that you're moving a note down a half step. Okay? So G7 flat 9 to my C major 7 or whatever C major chord I'm going to go to 9, 13, whatever, how you want to do it. You have so many different extension options. Now, here's the big secret when it comes down to the 2-5-1 progression. You have to know that you can play a 2-5-1 progression anytime you're going to a major chord. A 2-5-1 progression does not mean that you're only playing the 2, 5, and 1 of the key that you're in. You can take this to any key or anytime you're going to a major chord. Let me show you. Let's say I'm playing a song like No Weapon by Fred Hammond in the key of A flat. All right, so the song really goes from the one to the seven to the six to the five to the four, three, two, five, back to the one. All right, I really love the song because it follows the whole scale. So let's say, um, uh, Right. So what if I want to do a two five one to this D flat, right? When I when I got to that D flat, I want to do something special there. So watch this. Whoa, did y'all see what I did? I'm gonna do it again. Now, I'm not in the key of D flat. Notice that. I'm not in the key of D flat major. But what I did, I did a two, five, one to get me to the D flat inside this key. So because there's a D flat major chord, I said, hey, I can do a two, five, one for D flat. So in order to really understand this concept, you have to think about the chord that you're going to and not the key that you're in. So if you're able to do that and look at say, I'm going to a D flat major chord, I can look at that chord independent of itself outside of the key that I'm in and be able to use that movement. So this is why I believe the two, five, one progression is one of the most important progressions that you will ever learn as a gospel musician. Next to the two, five, one progression is a seven, three, six progression, because that's gonna give you passing chord options anytime you're going to a minor chord. And that's what's coming up next week, fam. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos. And before you go, I got another video coming up right here on the screen for you. I'll catch you next time, fam. Peace.